So right now, y'all, I'm which is my face. Oh. We recommend that you have a pen and paper ready as a possible. We're going to use them all, you know. So that's going to be it. Yeah. Yeah. Three tacos and tell price at um three hundred and sixty dollars. So right now y'all I'm like behind the scenes shooting this content for Pop Shady. The lights set over here. I'm shooting content for Pop Shady. It's a sunglass company. It is, you know, a small business at the moment, but you know it's gonna be big because you know when I post them, it's gonna get big. Now, y'all know I had to come on here with the Dion's label accessories. I always gotta plug myself in. This is like the little setup or whatever I had, you know, just to showcase the glasses to y'all. That's the blow puff, the shade blow puff. There's an extra one in here because I have one as well. There's also Duran, which is my face. This is the shade Duran. And this is the olive green. And my stuff is scattered everywhere. And these are the shades, Looper, my faves, Looper. And you know, we're downtown with it. And it's hot as hell, but we gotta get this content in because we ain't gonna be rich sitting on doing that. And you know, this is my outfit. I'm just wearing this, you know, little shirt, jeans with a white boot, my little content bag. And yeah, so this is what we're doing today. Um, I'm with Aaliyah. She works for the brand itself. And I just so happen to get sent shades for the brand. So yeah, thanks to her for that. It's helping me get content, helping them get content. And yeah, so I'll let y'all know a little see little clips and stuff of the what I film behind the scenes or whatnot. But I do want to give a shout out to everyone who's been supporting my YouTube channel this far. Um, a big shout out to everybody who, you know, sends me packages and PR and stuff for me to review. I have a lot more coming to this channel, of course. I just be having to take my time with a lot of stuff because shit be all over the place. But I'm really back on YouTube and I'm back for good. Um, and yeah, just more content to come. Comment some stuff down below that y'all do want to see me do and stuff that y'all don't want to see me do. But yeah, welcome to Dion's Daily and this is my life as a content creator. America, America has a problem. But um, we're on our way to Chipotle right now. We just wrapped up the little content process for Pop Shady. I'm here with Aaliyah. She's driving. And yeah, we're about to get us some grub to eat. She's going to Houston tomorrow, you know. So that's going to be that. Tell them how you feel. I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I should have looked like this was like more so, I don't say it's for the moment, but you know, Labor Day weekend, I think it's gonna be a vibe. Mm -hmm. I've been in Houston plenty of times, so I'm not like pressed. I can give a fuck if I go or don't go, mm -hmm. but I'm happy to leave it, you know, I'm happy to be having a good time. Yes. Friends, so, yeah. That's the definition of young and turned. This bitch stay out of town. Mm -hmm. And she going to Drake, so. And I'm going to see Beyonce now. Uh, too. Yes, and she said Beyonce! Y'all, uh, I need rich friends like that because. Girl. <laughs> and she went to the Houston show. So you know that's gonna be the best show. Cause that's her hometown. But like I said, um, we're about to get us something to eat. So 
I will call y'all back in a few. Literally starving. Literally, like literally hungry. So yeah. All right, y'all. Yeah, 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 yeah,
dirt on beaches. Do it for fun. Don't take it personal, baby. Love on my lady. Love to my lady. So y'all, it is Q and A time, okay? And we have a few questions from some of my favorite people on Instagram. So I posted, you know, a little thing like, you know, yesterday's vlog footage, and I mentioned um, weekly vlog coming soon. I also wanted to include a Q and A portion inside the video because why not? So um, it says questions for Q and A. Don't skip, cause bitches like to skip. And even though over 43 people some watched this little post I made, only about three or four people sent in, you know, questions. So I thank y'all for being my biggest supporters because everybody else is haters, literally. And people are gonna be like, I ain't had a time, but uh, no, actually only three people. So we gonna start from It's My Michelle. She's a YouTuber. Also, I will link her, I will link her channel and everything in the description box down below, but this is what her channel looks like. And her Instagram is it's Michael Michelle. She said, "What's your favorite fall activity?" My favorite fall activity is simply the weather. And that's not really an activity, but it's an activity to me because the summer heat, as y'all see, I didn't give y'all no content because it's too damn hot. But when the fall season comes, the weather is just so perfect for me and my skin. And I, you know, I just really love fall. So. I would have to say probably pumpkin patch patches, you know, and you know, just being able to go out and try different foods and stuff because that's the best part. Best part. So thank you. It's my Michelle. Well, thank you, my Michelle, for your question. And I hope to see, you know, more. Rimban is Rimban two times two X is a um ambassador for style sesh as y'all do know i do hair um i'm also you know like a little hair or so whatever i'm trying to build my clientele look and everything i'm based in dallas texas um she asked me what is one goal you have for both of your businesses so i also own a jewelry company that i hair make jewelry from this is one of them from there um and i also do hair um yeah so a goal for both of my businesses that I do have is to simply to gain more knowledge on how to run them basically because I'm really good at giving people ideas on what makes them money and this and this and that to help grow their business and people use them when they actually grow their business but when it comes to me I don't specifically know where to start or how to start or where to end so that's why I'm taking a break from Dion's level because I'm going through a revamp and I've done like probably, I want to say a total of seven revamps, but they were kind of just rushed and all over the place. This revamp, I'm really just taking my time, finding out, you know, what my people like. I'm really doing my research on a lot of the materials I use and a lot of stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's just one of my goals. Another goal I will say, because that's probably going to be just really a goal. Anybody would consider that a goal. I would say to reach my $1,000 a month, you know, minimum. For both of my businesses you know so hey who knows it could it could happen it may not happen you know who just knows i do know that if this last revamp that i'm gonna be doing for Dion sample if this does not take off the way that it needs to take off then i'm going to completely be done doing jewelry because it's not like I'm giving up on that. Like, I will still do it if people ask me, like, hey, I would like to purchase, you know, I'll still do that. But it's just, like, I won't be t doing it as a business anymore for the simple fact that the jewelry market is super oversaturated. And I've tried to stand out and create jewelry that is so different from other people's pieces. But everyone always seems to have the same shit that I make, you know? So... I'm not saying anyone's copying because that's not the case at all. I get a lot of inspiration from Pinterest and I get a lot of inspiration from other creators and designers as well. But I'm just saying, like, there's no point of us all doing the same thing, you know? So, yeah. Thank you, Ramban, for your question and here's your answer. Micaiah, which is the overall mother of House of Barbie located in Dallas, Texas. She said, what's something in your career that you wish you learned before you started your businesses? 
marketing okay now i'm a really good marketer when it comes to everyone else's business like i'm really good at doing everyone else's business but my own um unfortunately but marketing is something i wish i learned ahead of time because i would literally i'm the type of person if i you know if i have an idea i ask to be done right then and there i'm not gonna think of it anymore i'm not gonna want to do it anymore so i literally was like the other day literally just got through the phone with my friend the other day saying Marketing needs to be like study and like high school, middle school type shit because when you become an adult, like marketing is in your job. Like you have to market that role. You have to, it's a lot with marketing. And I wish I would have learned how to correctly do that instead of just figuring it out on my own and figuring out what works for me because a lot of the time, I don't know what I'll be doing. I really don't. But I'll be doing it. You know, I'm gonna always do the best of what I can do. But marketing and, um, finances because I'm really good at that now by the way marketing and finances I'm really good at right now but when it first came down to the business I would just be buying anything spending money I didn't know about wholesale pricing and none of that and when it comes to my jewelry I do not buy anything wholesale I hand make everything and I source the top finest jewelry pieces only so um yeah but like when I first started my business I would let go to Michael's and I'll be like, okay, let me get this, this, and this, because you know, this is on sale and this 50% off and this, this, and that. That's not the way to do it, y'all. I'm telling y'all. You want quality over quantity. And if you're a person who just really wants to do it as like a fundraiser to make money and blah, 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 then, you know, Michael's and Hobby Lobby and all that is a place to go. But I actually did it because I like to make jewelry and I like, you know, stuff like that. So that's why I did it. But big shout out to everyone who sent in their questions and answers, even though um, three people, like I said in the beginning of this, thank y'all so much for, you know, always supporting me, always liking my posts, always commenting on stuff I should do, because a lot of people who watch my social media just don't actually give a fuck, and I'm not saying they have to, but I'm just like, why follow if you're not going to interact? It's just giving weird, and it's giving lame, and you're a weird ass bitch, and I literally mean that for everybody who did not. I literally mean you're a weird ass bitch for everybody who did not interact with the question and motherfucking answer. Out of all 600 and some people that follow me, 70 some people seen it, but you didn't want to interact. So that's cool, that's cute, we're gonna keep it a buck, and yeah, I'm not gonna really, you know, I'm not gonna really do too much bad talking about nobody on here, we'll do or whatever, but just letting y'all know y'all are weird and that's just that but without further ado um without further ado today i will be wearing my ralph lauren's club i'll be wearing ralph's club by ralph lauren um it is a fragrance i got sent to i will be wearing this fragrance today absolutely to die for a fragrance the fragrance smells absolutely amazing um i got sent this package today and i smelled it. i did a little review on tiktok about it um this is not a paid sponsorship at all this is not even really considered a sponsorship they just sent me a package for me to review and here i am reviewing it okay um but yeah i'm gonna read y'all a little card they sent me the card says introducing grouse club elixir an intensely alluring an expressive fragrance for anyone who wants to stand out from the crowd and make a statement that lasts long after the night is over. The powerfully magnetic masculine enduring scent features an expertly curated blend of six sustainably sourced ingredients, including lavender, iris, incense, patchouli, combining sensual woody notes refined through an intoxicating amber quality. Let Ralph's Club Elixir transport you to the best night of your life. All it takes is one drop. And y'all, this is what's on here. I ain't even reading this out of nowhere. This was a really good fragrance, like I said. It's actually one of my favorite packages I've ever gotten sent. But this is the first package of the month that I've gotten sent. So yeah. And look at the little card, it's so cute. Yeah, this is the this is the Ralph's Club. This is the bottle itself. I love this little thing. And it's always about the details, y'all. Like details make everything. Details make everything. But this is what we're gonna be wearing today. <sighs> the 
just smells so good. And y'all have to have my chest. I'm sorry, it's there. I don't know, it, it keeps going back. I don't want it, it keeps going back. It's gonna be a procedure, it's gonna be done in the future to remove it, cause I don't like it. But mm. I can so, I can so see me where it needs to. Y'all know this is my favorite. This is the Thomas Cosmala Appraisal of War number four. I don't know if I can say that right, but this is my absolute favorite fragrance. And I can dead ass see these two being worn together. Who knows? These could be worn together. Who knows? So we're about to get dressed, and I will come back on here when I'm dressed because I have like no clothes. So I'll see how I'm here. Also, I did want to get on here and talk about Campus Beauty. This is their body glaze. This is the pineapple upside down. Y'all, it smells just like how it says. And y'all know I'll be using this to show y'all. I'll be using the fuck out of this. So, try to see if we can mix this in. No matter if we can, I'm gonna use it in the motherfucking way. That's just it. Because it smells so good, y'all. Like, it smells really good. And you know, and it melts immediately into your hand. <sighs> Part one of this video has been completed. So if you made it all the way to the end, make sure you tune in to next week's video. Okay, y'all. Not even next week's video. I'm really trying to do this whole little vlogging, you know, uploading every other day in September type of shit. So we don't call it 20 days in September type. You know, I'm really back on my content shit. So I'm trying to give y'all as much content as possible. So make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all turn on post notifications because the content is going to be driving like crazy.